Okay guys, so what I do here is uh, I filled this up with water and I got the deer heart in there from yesterday. I thought we'd boil up that deer heart today. Make us a tasty dish here if we can. We'll get this next to the fire and let her go. Get her boiled up and cooking. Go from there. All right. It's our heart boiling up. We got some guys out here trimming trees. So we got some noise out here. I apologize for that. They're over on the township road trimming for the power lines, I would imagine, or the phone lines, one of the two, but we'll continue to cook anyway. Okay, guys, I wanted to kind of give you a little close-up here of what we got going on. This thing's been on the boil for quite a while. Look at that. Man, oh, man. Look at that heart. Beautiful. Now, what we're trying to do is kind of boil this to semi-cook it. We're going to slice it up, and we're going to cook it in a pan here in just a minute and fry it up. And then we're going to mix some pepper gravy into it, and oh, man, is it going to be good. I got something special for you today, guys. Okay, guys, so we've got a skillet here with just a little bit of oil in it. I just heated it up just to get it ready. And again, you know, I've got this deer heart still warm right here in this bush pot. Again, guys, I truly apologize for the noise in the background today with this crew out here cutting trees along the township road out here that borders my property, but we'll just have to work around it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this heart and we're going to thin slice it. Okay? So we'll get this heart out of our pot here. And we're going to bring him over here on this cutting board. Slice into it. Now it's not going to be completely done. It's going to have some red in it. But that's okay because we're getting ready to fry it anyway. We'll cut us off three or four nice pieces right there and we'll put the rest back in. We'll go ahead and put this and cut back in. Okay. Now we're going to take these three pieces here and put them in to fry them up. The next step in the project here, while we're frying those up, is to get our gravy made. And this uh, gravy mix is really, really inexpensive. Like 50 cents a packet, something like that. And this is Pioneer brand pepper gravy. We're going to use the juice from this heart. We've got our bowl that was in the bottom of our bush pot. And we're just going to mix a little gravy into that bowl. Just like this. We use about half the packet. Take these off the, a little bit off the fire for a minute. We mix a little bit of our heart water in there. It's still hot, nice and hot. That mixed in good. Let it thicken up. Now water's just warm at this point. It's not uh, too overly hot. Don't want it to be too overly hot, but don't want it to be cold because I got to get the lumps out of this gravy. Now 
only put about half the packet in to begin with to see where I was going to end up once it thickens up and I can put more in there in the end. Oh, spilled a little bit there. Okay, let's take our piece of heart meat and flip them over. Oh man. Put a little of the little Old Bay seasoning on there just for good measure. stirring our gravy. Okay. Now we're getting real close. Food time here. We got our gravy mixed up now. Nice and thick. Got a little ash in there. I don't care about that. It's no big deal. We got our pieces fried up nice and good here. So now gourmet touch to this thing would be to take a piece of this heart meat cut that off just like that and take that dip it into your gravy just like that and shovel her in fellas oh man holy smokes Hoo wee Fellas, I gotta tell you something. Get another piece of this going here. Golly. Like I said, just cut you off a piece of that heart. Dip it in that pepper gravy. Oh man. That is some of the best meat you are ever gonna want to eat in your life. Remember, you know, if you're eating a lot of wild game and stuff, that, you know, the majority of the vitamins and the nutrients available in that animal are going to be in the organ meat. So, livers, hearts, don't pass them up. Do yourself a favor. Golly. I got to have more. I can't stand it. Man, oh man, oh man. That's a meal fit for a king right there. Guaranteed. Man. Guys, I truly appreciate you joining me for this video today. Just a little short video on cooking up a deer heart. And uh, I tell you, there ain't nothing like it. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for me, for my school, for my family, everyone affiliated with the Pathfinder School. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.